well what a lovely day and uh, it seems like weeks and weeks and weeks since I've uh, been down at the woods due to the uh, relentless fortnight of rain we've been having so uh, it's bright and early now thought I'd grab the chance and go down and have a couple of hours there but what a wonderful day so as per usual we'll uh, come back when I'm a little bit closer to the woods see you in a short while and here we are once again walking towards the subway that takes us through to uh, a labyrinth of small woodland and uh, I'm going to do a right turn today I'm going to go to a particular woods to chill out and have a bit of breakfast and uh, traffic as usual very noisy Music Maestro. And here we are on the other side. A bit muddy as you'd expect from a fortnight of rain. Have a quick uh, customary look over the edge. And it looks like we're finally getting spring after a very damp, dark, miserable winter. So, onwards. We'll come back when we get to the woods. And voila, here we are, back in the woods. And uh, there's plenty of uh, tree fall here from some wild winds we had a few weeks ago. And uh, daffodils are absolutely and utterly in bloom. The last time I came through here, they were just starting to bud and uh, there's like a sort of zigzaggy corridor of them going further up into the woods but what a beautiful morning I say again So let's get on to see what we can find today. See if we can find anything uh, anything useful or edible or both indeed. So uh, just go for a bit of a mooch. Right, so uh, we're off the beaten track <coughs> and uh, found this sort of sh quite shaded area here. So uh, gonna have a brew here. Um, I've already gathered some, a little bit of dry wood there to get the fire going and uh, I've got my grate there and uh, I'm going to use what's in the woods today and there's plenty, plenty of nettles so we're going to have a nettle brew a uh, great time of the year to get them now when they're nice and young and sweet and uh, as I was making my way through here I noticed uh, loads of great tits and uh, blue tits foraging and uh, filling themselves, having the breakfast. So yeah, time to get a fire going. Just look at this. Right, so I've uh, just uh, gathered some nettles in this little drawstring bag here. And uh, there's also some cleavers here as well, which uh, are also quite a nice outdoor free edible. And uh, there's lots of claims associated with cleavers. Uh, whether they're true or not, I'm not entirely sure. But uh, certainly a nice combo in a brew with um, stinging nettles and cleavers. So let's get on with it now and get this fire going. All 
Right, so uh, despite the, uh, the very damp ground, I managed to get this little fire going here, just to make some uh, some nettle tea. And uh, there's some good wood here actually, above ground that's uh, drying really well. So uh, let's get on with it and let's have a chill out and a nice cup of nettle tea. Right, so uh, we don't want the water boiling here. Uh, I can hear it working its way up to a boil, so I'm going to take it off now and uh, pour it into my little cup there with the uh, the mixture of nettles and cleavers. Get quite thirsty actually. And uh, here we are. I've already started pouring it a bit. Caught, caught the water about a minute before it's boiled. So uh, we're just going to leave that beautiful green greatness for a few minutes and uh, let the flavours and the goodness come out into the warm water and uh, probably let the fire go down to ashes and get a bit of porridge on shortly right so we've got the uh, muesli porridge mixture on the go in the embers there probably won't take too long the uh, the embers are really hot and uh, just letting the, um, the nettle and cleavers brew steep a little bit longer It's quite a good spot here actually. I'm going to be doing um, a wild camp either next week or the week after. So uh, I quite like these places that are right inside the woods. There's plenty of places to pitch a, a tarp and hammock up or a bivy, depending on which way you decide to go. And uh, there's plenty of dry wood and uh, dry nettle stems here for getting the fire going. So uh, all's good at the moment and I'm uh, really, really looking forward to brekkie. I didn't have anything at all this morning when I left the house, so it's going to go down well. So I'll come back soon. Right, so uh, I've had my brew, and uh, I also ate the um, the nettles and the uh, the cleavers that were in the bottom of the cup, and uh, it was quite sweet actually. It tasted like uh, kale, like young kale. So. Not too bad really, I got a nutritious drink out of it and something to eat and I also had my porridge. So we've uh, cleaned everything up, uh, leave no trace again, packed away. I'm going to have a slow walk in the woods, uh, maybe a little chat. Got a very, very busy day today so time to, uh, time to get a bit of a stomp on. And yeah, I'll definitely be uh, I'll definitely be back in this bit of the woods when I when I do my wild camp during the next week or so. Loads of resources here, loads of shelter and stuff. Should be a good one. Right, so uh, time to move on. Right, so uh, I've had a good old walk around the woods. Didn't really find anything edible really apart from um, the nettles and the cleaver that I had before. Uh, I just met a young lad up there, sat at the, um, there's a little bit of a bush, a bushcraft camp up here. Met some young dude, sat down, he had, uh, he had himself a little fire on the go. And, uh, was smoking a little ting, which, uh, you can't blame him for doing so on such a lovely day. So, uh, we're on the way out now. And, uh, this is the usual, we've got the, uh, choice here of the, um, the absolutely soaking wet path there on the left or the woods and we're going to go with common sense cut through the woods of course and uh, what a beautiful day I know I've said it about three or four times but uh, absolutely stunning day and uh, starting to get a little bit noisier now as we get closer to the road so uh, Again, thanks for watching, and uh, please hit the subscribe button if you're into um, outdoor and traditional skills, permaculture, community food growing, and uh, basically anything that might create uh, a better world for everybody. So, just panning around to catch these trees before I go. So uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, catch up with you very soon. Over and out.